Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at creating a query for a database in Microsoft Access. In Microsoft Access, queries allow you to ask questions of the database and find information in it. They can also be saved, or they are saved, with the database so that you can reuse them over and over again. I'm going to open the database that I've been working on, which is a database with details of club members in it. And we're going to build queries based on this particular database. The first query that we're going to create is going to be very simple, just so that you can get a feel for how queries are created. And we're going to do one that's only going to bring out the first name and the last name and the grade that these players play in. So we're going to leave behind the other details. To create the query, we're going to click on the Create tab. And I'm going to choose the Query Wizard. This opens the new Query Wizard. And we're going to create a simple query. So I'm going to click it and click OK. Now the benefit of using the wizard is that it does a lot of the work for you. So to start off with, we're looking at the table members that we created earlier. And we're just going to move across into this query window here only the fields that we want to see in the query results. So that's first name, last name, and grade. So I'll click Next. Now we get to give our query a name. So I'm just going to call this Members and Grade. And we're going to open the query to view the information that the query gives us. So I'll just click Finish. And here is the result of running that query. We're seeing the first name, last name, and the grade that the player plays. And we're seeing nothing else. Now the query is entered here. It's actually a savable element in the database. So I'm just going to click on the query. And let's go to the Home tab and let's view the Design view. Because that shows us the Query Design view. Up here, we've got the Members table. And down here is the query itself. It shows us the fields that we want to see, whether or not they're showing. But they can actually appear in here, even if they're not being shown. And we can specify other details in our query. For example, we could sort on last name. So let's sort on last name in ascending order. We've changed our query. Now let's run it by clicking Run. Now you'll see that the members are showing, but they're also ordered in last name order. So you can edit your query once you've created it if you understand how to get into Design View and what Design View is actually showing you once you get there. Now one of the ways that we might want to use this query in future is to give us a list of names, but only for a particular grade. And we can do that. And the way that we're going to do it is we're going to build this query up so it can be used over and over again. So it's going to be a sensibly written query. In the criteria line here, I'm going to click or press on the keyboard the opening square bracket. And I'm going to type a prompt in here and then close the square brackets. And I've typed Type the Grade to View. What this does is it's going to prompt us when we run the query with a little dialog that says Type the Grade to View. When we type a grade, A, B, or C, then we're going to see the first name, last name, and grade for only those members that play that particular grade of the sport. Let's click Run to see it at work. Here's the dialog. I want to see only A grade players, so I'm going to type the letter A and click OK. And now here are the first name, last name, and grade of only the A grade players. The query can also be used to see B grade players. I'll just type the letter B. And now these are the B grade players. As you can see, this query has been designed so that it can be used for any grade. We just type the grade that we want to see, and Access shows us the matching records. This is a smart way of designing this kind of query. 
Now one of the issues with this mistake, one of the issues with this query is it's a little bit redundant. You can see that we've asked for only A grade players, but it's showing us the grade that the player plays. And since we asked for only A grade, this is really not required. Let's go back into Design View, and if we click the Show checkbox here to hide this particular column, you'll find that when we get the query to run, we're going to see only the first name and last name of our members, even though they're going to be filtered by the grade that we specify. Let's click Run again, and I'm going to see just A grade players. And now we're seeing just the first name and last name of those players. We didn't actually have to see the grade. We could turn that field off. But of course, the field has to appear in this area here because it's actually used as a criteria. Now when I'm finished with this query, I'm just going to click to close it and I'll save it. And it's saved here so that we can reuse it over and over again. And of course, we can add more queries to our database. So let's create a query now that shows us all the people who haven't paid their fees. To create this query, this time let's create it from scratch. So I'm going to click the Create tab and I'm going into Query Design. The first thing you need to do is to tell Access what you want to use as the basis for the query. And we're going to use the Members table. So I'm just going to click to add it and then click Close. Now this is pretty much the view that we saw earlier, but we have to build it up ourselves because Access hasn't done it for us. We want to see in our query results the first name and the last name. So I'm just going to double click on the field name and it will be added automatically to the table below. I also want to use the field fees paid because that's telling us whether the person has paid their fees or not. So I'm going to double click to add it to the table below. Now we probably don't want to show that field, but we do need to use it to extract some data. So I've disabled the Show button here, but we do need to specify a criteria here that brings out only the people who haven't paid their fees. Now this Fees Paid field is a yes-no field. So if they haven't paid their fees, the answer to this is going to be false. So I can just type equal and then false. So what Access is going to do is to show me only the first name and last name for members that have false or no entered into the fees paid field. Now whenever I'm creating a query like this, I think I'll want to see the field just when I'm designing it to make sure it actually works. So I'm going to re-enable Show and I'm going to run my query. And yes, it is working. I am seeing those people who haven't paid their fees. So let's go back into Design View and now I've convinced myself that this is working just fine. I can disable the Show button. I'm also going to save my query, so I'll click the Close button. And yes, I do want to save it. And I'm going to call this Fees Unpaid. And click OK. And now I have two queries. I have Fees Unpaid and Members and Grade. At any time, I can run on one of these queries by just double clicking on its name. I'm going to type A to view the A grade players. I'm going to double click Fees Unpaid and we can see the results of all the members of our club that have not paid their fees. These queries will be saved with the database so they're going to be accessible to us any time we open this database in Microsoft Access. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this YouTube video. Look out for more Access videos on this YouTube channel and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Also visit my website at projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including, of course, Microsoft Access.